Okay, I think we can go ahead and get started. Um, first of all, thank you all for joining us. Um, give you kind of a rundown of how we're going to proceed. Um, I'm going to go through a slideshow, um, giving you information about the program. And then we have one or two current students who are going to um, come up and speak from the student perspective. Um, you can welcome to ask them any questions you may have. And then I'll come back and answer any program related questions that you may have. Um, should we run out of time? Uh, we do have um, folks joining us on Zoom too who may chime in with questions. Um, if we run out of time and I can't get to everything, um, please email me. My information will be um, at the end. So go ahead and get going. Um, first of all, I'm Christy Retzer, I'm the program manager uh, for the Institute and primarily for the MS Data Science program. Um, we also have our director, Nick Duffield, um, who is also a professor in the electrical and computer engineering department, and Drew Casey, who is our assistant director for program engagement. So why study data science? Um, you're here because you probably already have some kind of interest, uh, maybe even a background, or it could be completely new to you and you're coming here to find out more. Um, so data science explores the potential of data to provide, derive valuable insight for society. Um, it also connects different elements, with engineering, technology, science, computing, and the humanities. Um, you can see over here on the right-hand side, some of the highlights. Um, probably one of the biggest being as of 20, 2022, uh, data scientists are the number three best jobs for Americans. Um, we expect that to continue to grow um, in the coming years. So the need for data scientists um, is gonna continue to grow in many different, different forms. Um, a little bit about the program structure. Um, the Institute of Data Science is kind of the this coordinating department for the program. Uh, we are an interdisciplinary program. Um, so we do work with the colleges of arts and sciences and engineering. Um, and then under that, there are four tracks to the program, statistics, math, computer science and engineering, and electrical and computer engineering. Um, so the way the program is organized, it is a 30 hour um, on campus program. And this comprises those four tracks that I previously mentioned. So when you apply, you will be applying to one of those four tracks. Um, and well, you'll be admitted to the Masters of Data Science program. Um, you will also fall under one of those tracks. I'll get into that in a minute in, in one of the next slides. Um, but when, when you apply, it's important to know that you may not switch tracks once you've been admitted to the program. So if you're applying to the statistics track, you get admitted to that track, um, you know, six months, two semesters into the program, don't come back and ask to switch tracks because the answer will be no. So just be mindful of that when you're applying, um, apply to the track that you think you will be the most interested in. Um, again, these are the four academic departments and those are also the departments that your classes will come from. In addition to electives from the industrial and system engineering department, um, that is not one of the tracks that's part of the program, but there are classes available um, that you can take. Um, so the curriculum, every student, regardless of what track you're in, in the first semester, you're going to take these four core classes that are listed in the middle here. Um, and then in the second and third semester, that's when you're going to take your six elective classes. Um, three of those electives must come from your track department, and then the other three can come from any of the these five listed classes. Um, 
if you want to take all, all six classes from your track, you can do that as well. Um, just be mindful that at least three of them must be um, track classes. Um, kind of expanding on this, um, this is how a typical um, typical program would flow. First semester, the common classes. Second semester, um, any any three classes. Um, you can mix them up. They don't all, you know, that second semester they don't all have to be your track classes or all electives. You can you can mix them together. Um, during the summer, if you want to do an internship, you may. Uh, it is optional. It's not required. And then during your third semester is when you'll complete your final three electives, and you may also do a capstone, uh, which is also optional. If you choose to do the capstone, that will count as one of your track electives. Um, a little bit of a breakdown of the tuition and fees. Um, these are estimated based on the university's um, current rates, um, so that can always change. This does not include any of your living expenses or um, it, anything outside those classroom tuition and fees. Um, funding opportunities. Every student who's admitted will be considered for a $1,000 scholarship, and this will cover um, both the fall, the first fall and spring semester. And that will also give you the in-state tuition rate. There is not a separate application required. Uh, we'll utilize the application that you submitted um, for the program. Um, there's always research assistantships available, and you may uh, look for those in any program or any department within the university. It doesn't have to be specifically engineering, math, or stat. Um, um, kind of going back to the internships, um, you may take an internship beginning in the summer semester. Um, should you choose to take it in fall or spring, this will be the following fall semester, um, not your first fall, but so if you're admitted in fall 2024, starting in fall 2025, um, you may take an internship, but it must be remote. We, because we are an on-campus program, you know, these classes are offered every day and time throughout the week. So we do want you, um, well, we do need you to be here on campus to take those classes. So um, do keep that in mind that those must be remote. Um, these are a couple of our um, affiliated um, industries that we're with, Chevron, Conoco, Phillips, and Navita. Hey, how to apply. Um, and there's a, a link to the application on our website as well. Um, so you're going to go through the graduate CAS application. Um, that application is currently open. It opens September 1st and will close February 1st. Um, don't be concerned about the date that it opened because applications will not be reviewed um, until it closes. So if you didn't get an application in until the close date, um, those ahead of you don't have priority. Um, we do not have a spring intake. We do only admit in the fall. And prior to being admitted, you do need to have taken um, these classes, calculus and linear algebra, statistics, and um, some form of uh, programming. We do find that applicants who have a bachelor's degree in computer science, statistics, math, or one of the engineering backgrounds, um, they typically have, have, that, have already taken this course, coursework or have the background to be admitted. However, these are not the only required degrees. Um, so if you have, you know, maybe something similar or, you know, you've at least taken the required coursework, um, you can still be considered. When you apply, um, 
So you're going to click, click on the link to start your application. Be sure you're coming down here to create an account. Um, don't look at the links in the maroon side because that will take you to last year's application and you will not be able to find our program in there. So create an account. Um, if you've previously applied to our program, you will need to fill out a new application. Um, I'm not entirely sure if you'll need to still create an account, but I think you've tried to create one and you already have an account, then you can, I guess, proceed from there. Um, graduation. Um, if you walk in graduation, you are going to walk with the college that your track fell under. So math and stat will go with the College of Arts and Sciences and the two engineering tracks will go with the College of Engineering. Um, you can leave, see the list of growing career opportunities and you know, it just kind of extends from here. So these are just some of the areas that we see um, data scientists going into and um, of course just expect it to continue to grow from here. Some of the activities that um, Tamins has, we do have seminars, tutorials, educational webinar, webinars, um, yearly student competitions and hackathons. You can see over on the right, these are some of the upcoming activities that we have um, coming up through the end of this semester. And then um, also our um, data science competition that will be next spring. Um, we also have a network with over a thousand students, both the graduate and undergraduate level. I would advise you um, going to the TAMIDS website and joining our mailing list. Um, that way you will get uh, at least weekly updates on the different activities that, that TAMIDS has going on. We are also affiliated with um, different thematic labs. Um, I'll let you take a look over that. Um, and then you know, also our um, affiliated faculties within those labs as well. Okay, with that, um, Javita, do you wanna come up and give us a little perspective from, from the student side? Uh, hello, I'm Janvita Reddy, and I'm a graduate student enrolled in data science program at Texas A&M University. So I have completed my undergrad in mechanical engineering from NIT Surat back in India. And from my experiences, I would say doing a transition from any other field into data science is possible because what makes data science special are its interdisciplinary applications and nowadays every industry requires a data scientist. So during my undergrad, I have done projects related to my core field that is mechanical, but also tried implementing the data science techniques into it to enhance the productivity of the machining process. And from there, I uh, got interest into data science and decided to pursue masters in it. So uh, what actually made me choose Texas A&M University is because it uh, is unique curriculum and also it provides us with four different tracks. And I thought it is a very good opportunity for me to expand my domain knowledge. So when I uh, initially came here, frankly speaking, I was very apprehensive whether I would be able to cope up with the curriculum because I have not taken much relevant courses related to this field in my undergrad. But here the curriculum is so well structured and designed. It encourages people from diverse backgrounds to come together and apply their knowledge into this field. So it is a great opportunity for everyone to uh, join to this program. So I would say keep exploring new things. And if you all feel you'll want to make a career into data science, then the master's program here is one of the best options available. Thank you. Thank you. Um, does so anyone have any questions about the student side of the program? Why did you choose the statistics track? 
like now I am in enrolled in statistics, but uh, next year I will uh, change into computer science. And it's like uh, the we have some uh, particular electives from a particular track. So in which electives you want to major, it depends upon that. On that note, I actually um, want to go back and mention um, the very first semester, um, regardless of what track you're in, everyone will fall under the Department of Statistics. Um, since there are four different tracks, we did need, um, I guess, kind of that, that home department for everyone to be in that first semester. Um, so first semester, everybody's statistics. After that, you break out into your individual tracks. Thank you. Isaiah, did you want to come up? Hello everyone, my name is Isaiah Sigasi. I am uh, in the, actually I'm in the AC track. This was like, uh, I just wrote it like last year. So I did my undergrad in electrical engineering in Abu Dhabi, UAE. And currently I'm uh, working as a research assistant in the language. So I'll try to talk a little bit of my experience with uh, data science track. So the data science department. The good thing about the like I'll not repeat the what uh, Christy and uh, uh, she said. So the good thing about the track is it's multidisciplinary uh, program. Which since I did my undergrad in electrical engineering, I was trying to look courses that I could integrate like electrical and uh, data science, which is like the ML aspect of data science. And I found uh, this program which I which satisfies my needs. And as a result, I come in the uh, intake of last year, fall of uh, 2022. It's been like more than more than a year. And it looks like, uh, I mean, like a few months. I mean, like, I really enjoyed the program and uh, like the opportunity that Tamils have. As a result, I was able to find uh, secure my internship with uh, PepsiCo. And uh, like the like the opportunity that I had from the uh, Tamils and from the data science program <coughs> me to secure a return offer from uh, PepsiCo as a, a data scientist. And yeah, uh, from this onwards, I can I can answer some of your questions. So I interned with Pepsi last uh, summer, and I'm interning with them next summer. Oh. What uh, what data science for are you like supply chain finance? Oh, that's a good question. I I was working with the IPP team, which is the intelligent promotion planner. So we were assisting the uh, uh, the sales department to uh, to kind of like forecast like how many products should they produce. Okay. In intern in Plano or in uh, oh, in Chicago. In Chicago. So now that you're finishing up the program, if you could go back based on your experiences, how would you have approached it differently, knowing what you know now? Uh, that's actually a good question. Let me think about it. <laughs> I think uh, I might like focus more on the prerequisite of the course, especially like the linear algebra. I wish like I could have uh, taken some like uh, the like there is a workshop. Uh, that probably you will be provided before uh, joining uh, Texas A&M. I mean, like the data science. I wish I had uh, reviewed that material. Okay, if there are no further questions, thank you all for joining us and for listening and for your great questions. Um, and if you have any follow-up questions, anything you may think of later on, um, you can email me I'm Christy. Um, I should be able to answer anything you have. If I can't answer your question, I will find the answer mm -hmm. and get back to you. Um, if you decide to apply, you have questions during the application process, please email me then as well. So, um, all right, that's it. Thank you all for coming.